हेलो लिसनर्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड लाइकिंग माई वीडियोज सो येस अगेन हियर आई एम विद सम ऑफ द बेस्ट टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स दैट आई कैन गिव टू द मदर्स आउट देर सो द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज फॉर अ मदर इज टू मेक द चाइल्ड ईट एज आई मेड माई वन ऑफ द पॉडकास्ट अबाउट द फसी चाइल्ड ईटर्स सो अगेन या फूड इज ऑलवेज एन एन इशू विद द किड्स एंड नाउ वेन द चाइल्ड स्टार्ट गोइंग टू द स्कूल देन वी हैव टू पैक द लंच बॉक्स सो टिल द टाइम किड्स आर यूजली आई मीन विथ आज एट होम somehow we manage and make them eat by talking telling them stories or okay we we even leave the child if the child is taking a lot of time to finish the food but when the child starts going to the school and we have to pack the tiffin box for the school then that is the biggest and the most scary task because we cannot keep the child hungry in the school right so we have to think so much each and every day that what should we prepare so that it is healthy it is tasty it is stomach filling and that the child is happy with what we are giving okay because the, otherwise the child will carry a bad mood whole day after seeing the box and at the same time we cannot give uh, just like that something which the child likes uh, which is the junk food or which is very deep fried oily food right maybe once in a week we can give but um, on a regular basis i don't think that is good and also we should not make the child get used to it and i think these days most of the schools also they don't allow junk foods in the boxes and also in some schools they have a i mean uh, a time table a schedule for the lunch boxes so the school gives the time table the schedule and according to that the parents have to prepare if that is the case in the school then that's actually the best thing because we don't have to put pressure on our mind to think what should we prepare because that is the most stressful job a mother goes through early in the morning when she wakes up what should i cook today yes so here i am with uh, a scheduled list for uh, the whole week like 6 days if the child is going to the school for 6 days so how to plan each day with some options yes so that will be helpful for many of the mothers out there i guess so first of all i want to tell you that um, whatever uh, recipes that i'm going to tell i'll be telling in short uh, and of course uh, if everybody wants and uh, i'll uh, make a detailed uh, again a podcast for each and every recipe but uh, the ones that i'm telling are very basic and the sim- and the simple ones which i think everybody out there knows it i'm just helping you all to schedule it and make a proper timetable so yes before you make a plan of the 6 days uh, for the box uh, recipe i mean box menu so first you have to involve the child also in this task yes so if you involve the kid in this process of deciding the menu you can tell them that it's going to be healthy so first of all you have to tell them that that yes otherwise the school will not allow and also daily you cannot eat so you have to uh, accept it that it is going to be healthy but yeah one day you can choose any day of your choice when you want anything of your uh, your choice like the day also should be the child's choice and the items also should be of the child's choice so one day in the whole week you can give that uh, freedom to the child and then uh, so uh, you and the child can decide which is that item and all and also i will uh, want you to tell the child some items that which you want the child to eat uh, on a regular basis that means at least once in a week okay so um, it might be any particular uh, vegetable or like what i feel is that the kids uh, should always i mean at least once in a week eat beetroot any leafy vegetable and also chapati yes because the wheat is also equally important like how we treat rice so if it is always like in south india if people are always eating rice that time i want them to include chapati as well and if in the north if they are eating only chapati regularly i would want them to include rice also in between so these things also you should tell the child because yeah if the child is above 5 years and 6 years uh, obviously the child will understand what you are telling so what are the uses what are the benefits of all these foods so yes uh, these things you should uh, make the child understand and then you can start preparing your menu so here i'm going to tell you uh, the i mean menu for all the 6 days which you can like uh, shift swap according to your own wish because what i feel is sometimes after the weekend when the monday starts we are very lazy on mondays right so we prefer to make some simple items on monday if we had a very late night on sunday we went out or we were watching a movie so usually mondays are very lazy so according to that you can choose any one pot recipe which will uh, i mean which is done in just one <laughs> cooker and one whisk like that so yes according to that what i have planned is 
on monday you can keep like a uh, mixed vegetable rice day okay so in that time uh, monday you can make pulao rice with all the vegetables and that also please ask the child which vegetables they don't like usually some children don't like uh, capsicum uh, or cauliflower so ask the child the vegetables of the child's uh, wish yes uh, but yeah there some or the other vegetables should be there other than the onions and the potatoes so carrot uh, capsicum peas and also you can include sweet corn because this is like a uh, goodie like a bonus point for the child okay that sweet corn is there so you can make pulao rice or fried rice or even you can make uh, the you can use this uh, it's called as dalia or the broken wheat with that also you can make a pulao variety with the vegetables of the child's choice yes now next let's come to tuesday so uh, in my schedule that i have uh, written uh, and prepared is tuesday is for the child's favorite item so whichever favorite item the child wants for that one day you can prepare it can be pasta maggi sandwich cutlets or whatever the child is asking for next wednesday if your child is a rice lover then you can go for a full meals uh, menu like one proper sabji and one proper dal or sambar and if the child likes the curd then you can also give curd in a small box and you can pack the white rice separately and the uh, sabji and the sambar or dal and curd separately and give so here also yeah you have you know your options what the child eats so there are so many options for sabji bhindi brinjal raw banana carrot cauliflower beans and um, for sambar also you can prepare with any vegetable that the child is okay with or you can make tomato dal and leafy vegetable dal you can make and in case if the child is uh, not i mean interested to eat these rice items then you can have another option as normal tiffin varieties like you can go for uh, idli normal idli rava idli you know, all the types of upma suji upma broken wheat upma semi upma uh, and dosa dosa also you can make carrot dosa like just garnished dosa with carrot if the child likes onion dosa you can make onion dosa and uh, also you can add some ragi in the dosa batter and make ragi dosa so like this you can uh, prepare anything which the child likes for wednesday so it can be a full meals day or a tiffin items day and also i'm giving you so many options because every wednesday you can't make upma every wednesday you can't make bindi sabzi and uh, sambar so if it is a full meals day this wednesday you're making bindi and the next wednesday you're making brinjal or anything like that now let's come to thursday so thursday we can have as a chapati day so here chapati it can be either as a chapati and a side dish or a paratha type yes if the child is liking chapati with a side dish so that also you can ask the child which vegetable he is uh, liking uh, it can be any vegetable uh, or it can also be a gravy with chana or rajma which is also very healthy so in the vegetable also you can add like aloo methi or aloo because maybe the child is not liking chapati so let's just make the side dish interesting for them so that yeah they think okay aloo masala or aloo gobi or aloo methi is there so i need the chapati with it or else you can also make parathas so yeah we have so many n number of paratha varieties also so you can make aloo paratha you can make methi paratha now methi also you can i mean you don't have to go running for fresh methi we also get kasuri methi right so that also you can add in the 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 chapati flour that you have when you're making the dough you can add just that kasuri methi and make methi paratha even that tastes good and also the tip that i gave add one or two spoons of dahi in it the curd in it which tastes good also and also makes it soft and for the people who can't make the parathas with the stuffing type right the parathas are also uh, made by uh, uh, stuffing the dough and then making the parathas in that case what you can do is this aloo also potato if you're boiling you can directly smash it and mix it in the dough right we just have to make the paratha having the goodness of aloo in it so just add aloo and nicely you can finely chop onions add some salt add some jeera powder dhania powder and if the child eats spicy you can add chili powder and yeah the same thing you can uh, practice for beetroot paratha also nicely you can grate the beetroot uh, same thing for radish cauliflower carrot and also there is a thing called as a dal paratha dal paratha is nothing but you can just boil the dal nicely which you use for sambar and all boil it nicely smash it and mix it in the chapati dough yes the flour and make it nice dough so this will become a dal paratha yes so there are so many options and yeah if you all want i'll uh, surely discuss the recipes in detail so now let's come to friday now friday we can take as a variety rice day 
so here again we have so many variety rice options right coconut rice carrot rice tomato rice lemon rice you can make tamarind rice you can make then also raw mango rice you can make see rice varieties are nothing but it's just a curry or a gravy that you are making and just mixing it in the rice while just cooking the rice you can soak the rice uh, i mean you can wash and keep the rice aside for maybe 10 or 15 minutes so that time when you boil the rice they are very uh, i mean very fluffy okay so that they are very good to mix with the gravy that you have so yeah uh, the raw mango rice is also nothing but uh, it's just a curry that you're making with raw mango grated raw mango yes you can make pudina rice so you can see which vegetable your child is attracted to so yeah when you wake up in the friday morning and you know it's variety rice day just open your refrigerator and see what vegetables are there and with that you can make a rice variety next coming to saturday so saturday can be a chila day so what is chila it is again a kind of dosa that we make with different kinds of uh, maybe dals you can make or with besan or with suji you can make yes if you are making with moong dal which is it can be with the peel or without the peel so the green one or the yellow one for both we need to soak it overnight and then we have to add a little bit of ginger and chili and you can also add jeera and you normally salt and hing and then grind it Yes, grind it along with the water that you have used for soaking it, and then uh, you have to see the dosa batter consistency and put dosas. And you can just cut it in like the pizza pieces. You can cut it, cut them in triangles, and give the child with the sauce or any other chutney, so they will enjoy it. And besan chila also, I hope many of you know it. It's just the gram flour, and you can add any vegetable that the child likes: uh, onions, capsicum, tomato, anything the child prefers. Along with again turmeric, salt. You can also add a little bit of uh, ajwain and garam masala. And then suji chilas are also with a little bit of curd. Only then the suji it swells up and it's uh, mixed properly. So again, yeah, suji curd, and you can add uh, any vegetables. You can also add paneer in this, grated paneer in this. Yes, with salt, turmeric, or some garam masala or chaat masala, and yeah, last uh, you can also try oats chila. So oats chila uh, is again a kind of this dosa only, where some people what they do is they soak oats for at least fifteen to twenty minutes and then they start doing the process. Or some people what they do is they grind the oats first and then they mix it. So any which way you can prefer. So again in this you can also add a little bit of besan, two or three spoons of besan, just for the batter consistency. And you can add the vegetables of your choice, whatever the child prefers: onions, tomatoes, and turmeric, salt, uh, jeera, chilies, whatever you want. So yes, I'll just sum up again the basic headings that I have uh, told you for each day. You can make Monday as the pulav day, rice whichever you want. Then Tuesday you can give to the child for their favorites. Wednesday you can give for full meals or the tiffin items. Thursday you can give as the chapati day. Friday you can give as the variety rice day, and Saturday can be the chila day. Yes, so I hope all these uh, tips will be useful for the mothers to plan the boxes for the day. and yes i'll be again back with another podcast bye thank you